Alright, what's going on guys? It's Angelo of uh, Indian Trail uh, Indian Trail Electronics. And basically what I have here is now this is my first review, so uh please don't crucify me <laughs> if my uh review isn't you know up to snuff or uh up to par. So um yeah, so basically what I have here is a uh Horizon Tech uh, RTA, uh, the Vertec uh, tank. Um, it is a rebuildable atomizer for this monstrosity of a tank. I mean, this thing is like, whoa. I mean, uh, you know, I'm used to vaping on the uh, Baby Beast, using the Baby Beast. I like the Baby Beast. Baby Beast is cool. And <clears throat> I wasn't big on rebuildable atomizers. So I said to myself, well, you're not a fan, but just do it. So I did it, and uh, quite impressed. Um, you know, the way the uh, wicking holes are. Um, I just did, you know, two basic, um, two basic, you know, seven wrap coils, and um, you know, I, I, I'm really impressed with the uh, b the build quality of the device itself. Um, I mean, this thing is like a uh, air monster. You know what I mean? If you're a cloud chucker, this is your uh, this is your tank. You know, this is this is this is it. Um, you know, this is the tank for you. And I still can't believe the vapor production. Give me a second, and and I'll uh, I'll transition to uh, this. So the vape production on this thing is like outrageous um, like I said I'm not a I'm not a builder you know uh, of you know coils or you know uh, that's not really my cup of tea but uh, this really caught my eye the build of it the build quality the holes the where the wicking holes are <clears throat> within the tank um, if I'm not mistaken this is a four mil tank let's see five mil it's a four mil capacity, so I mean that's pretty good. Um, I have it uh, on a uh, uh, Lassimo. Uh, we're ripping it at about 50 watts. I got it, and, and it's uh, a 0.18. I don't know uh, how spectacular that is, but um, you know, I mean, I love the tank. You know, so uh, let's see how it rips. 50 watts. There it is. I mean that's good vape production. The flavor is great. Um, I like it. You know you can't uh, you can't be displeased with you know a the price uh, bulletin on this is uh, pretty good um, comparison to the other uh, RTAs or RDAs that are out there um, hybrid type style tanks. Um, the only thing that I don't really 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 like about this tank is that it is like an air hog uh, you know I'm not a cloud chucker but I like a nice you know smooth throat hit this tank provides that given the fact that the air holes are like humongous I mean let me untransition this give me one second here and I'm doing this all live. This is like something that somebody else is supposed to do, not me. Yes, we're going to get rid of that so you don't have to see my ugly mug. And then we'll transition that so you can see it. So, uh, I don't know how well you can see that. I mean, the air holes in this thing are freaking phenomenal. I mean, it is a great build. Look at that. I can fit a dime in there almost, a penny. When I tell you this thing is huge, this thing is huge. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it, uh, to be honest. And like I said, I'm not a real big, um, uh, you know, rebuildable atomizer kind of guy. Um, I just built two basic coils, two seven wrap coils. You can run, um, quad coils in this with plenty of room, plenty of headroom, um, inside of this, plenty of room. Um, it comes with a separate retaining ring, if I can find it. 
I have the additional ring, whatever I did with it. Well, anyway, it comes with another retaining ring that um, it goes over the, the, the wicking portion of it. So uh, give me one second and then uh, we'll open it up and you can see my build. So I'm going to take another rip. Those gigantic air holes. 50 watts is like peanuts. Ugh. So for me, I adjust them real, 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 really small because there's three ports, one, two, and then three on the other side. So here we go. <laughs> That is a beast. All right, so we're gonna flip it over and I'll show you my build. Wait for the juice to recede. All right. Okay. Well, there she is. All right, so this is how the wicking portion is done and the ring came off of it, so you can't see the ring. Um, the ring slips over the cotton which is like brilliant, it's genius. Um, so for me, you know, because I work on a lot of these vapes, I mean mods and uh, vape pens, and I see a lot of different types of technology that are integrated. I fix a lot of these, you know, as you can see on my desk here. Um, I fix a lot of this stuff. Anyway, I don't want to get off topic. I'm basically pointing out the fact that I, don't know, I understand good quality when I see it. And um, my favorite part of it is the retaining ring in which it keeps the, the cotton in place. And for me, that's a plus. A, because I'm a novice builder of, you know, with, you know working with coils and, you know, RDAs or RTAs as this is. Um, so for a novice to a beginner, uh, I rate this uh, on a scale of 1 to 10. I, I, I rate this a, a 10 um, for uh, build quality and expansion for, uh, you know, later on down the road type of stuff. You know, building bigger coils, alien wire, Clapton's, etc. This kind of thing. This is the ideal cloud chucker without dripping. I mean, I, like I said, RDAs, I don't do because, A, I don't like the juice all over my fingers. I don't like squirting it on there. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This is where it's at, uh, and uh, Horizon Tech has definitely kicking field goals in my book. So going back to the retaining ring, the retaining ring, um, I've seen a couple of my friends say, "Oh no, we don't use the retaining ring. The cotton stays in there." This, that, the other thing, and then I got some feedback on them turning around and saying, "Oh yeah, the 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 cotton ports are without the you know I I don't use the ring, Angelo." So the when I when I spin to adjust the air holes, which I'm going to show you in a moment, every time I spin it, the cotton moves. All right, so I mean that makes perfect sense because if you go down a little bit further into here, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Down into here at the base of this, there is uh, threads where the tank threads on this portion here. So if you have a piece of cotton in there. You're gonna have a tough time getting that on, and you're gonna have a tough time adjusting it. So that's why it's ideal to use the retaining ring. Why? Two reasons why. Um, number one, a to keep it in there, and b, these little frills that that'll that'll break off. It won't. What I'm trying to say is, it won't. Um, without it, it's gonna spread when you go to put the tank on, because I don't know if you see in the inside there, inside of the tank itself. You have, you know, the stainless steel insert that I was, that, you know, the retaining ring that I'm talking about, and then you have the stainless steel sleeve that goes up the chimney spout. So what'll tend to happen is, is as you twist the tank on, that cotton will spin around on the threads, and then once you go to adjust this in, in, in any other direction, it's going to move the cotton. So Horizon Tech touchdown for you uh, on 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 the retaining ring. I suggest that you use it uh, first and foremost on what I just explained and um, you know so that's the build on the inside um, I mean it's pretty whip ass I mean to be honest with you um, like I said you have plenty of room here I mean look you can add another another coil up top here I basically staggered them for airflow purposes uh, just my flare on it 
and uh, you know you can come down here on the bottom too because it's uh, uh, it's a quad stack. Uh, you can do two at the t two at the top, two at the bottom. Um, you know, sky's the limit here, guys, girls. Uh, I mean, you know, you could do uh, a double wrap, you know, staple coil or something like this, four staple coils. That's insane. So um, I'm gonna go back to this. Just give me one second here. I'm gonna uh, add my overhead view. Give me one second, and then uh, we'll go back up top, and then we'll talk about. Um, and we'll talk about. Uh, so let me uh, let me readjust this so you can see both my hands and my and my face. Let me adjust this so you can see what I'm doing, where I'm at, how I'm feeling, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so we'll transition that and get that back into image. All right, so um, after the retaining ring, and, you know, you can build good stuff on this. This is um, definitely a step in the right direction for Horizon Tech. Um, I think this is going to be a... a a future type of a thing, something that's going to be ever growing with uh, Horizon Tech. And um, if you're not a cloud chucker, this is not for you at all. This is this is a tank that um, an uh, RTA that's for somebody that you know wants to chuck a mean cloud, but at the same time doesn't want to drip. This is your tank. Sky's the limit. The manufacturing on this is you know second to none. Unbelievable mechanical workings. The you know when I when when I review something, instead of this is my first review, I like to look at the you know the rubber rings. You know, of course they give you replacements. You know here. Um, you know for all your you know uh, the the tank portion itself, the rings on the glass, the rings at the base of the tank where it twists on. They even give you. Uh, an additional uh, drift tip. I believe that's an adapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's an adapter for a regular uh, drift tip. This also comes with a wide bore drift tip. Now, my only freaking thing that really makes me upset is is that the way this whole twisting apparatus is. Here comes my my cons that I don't like about this tank. To me, it doesn't seem like it's on there, you know, and I get really frustrated. Because I'm a thread kind of guy, like why isn't that threading on there? Why isn't that right? Etc. Etc. Okay. Um, I mean, the build quality, uh, the engineering that went into this is phenomenal. Uh, you can't beat it. Uh, also, uh, you know, coming up top. So yes, this is a like a super wide bore, you know, drift tip, and then they give you the additional drift tip that will fit. You know, uh, I guess it's a standard, you know drip tip and uh, so yeah uh, I mean just you know the chimney spout on this is right on the is right on the pillars of the uh, like you know where your coils are at and I mean it's a home run you know so um, like I said this is my first review and if you guys you know don't crucify me I might be terrible at it or I might say uh and um a lot but you know, I'm doing my best because I love vaping, and is where it's at. So, uh, I'll rip on this a couple more times, and then uh, I'll close this video out. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I mean, that's a mean cloud for 50 watts and a standard coil. I mean, fellas, girls, guys, you know, I, 50 watts with a, you know, standard coil, you can't, you can't beat it. I mean, so you don't think I'm bullshitting. That's 50 watts. Turn it this way so you can see it. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Uh, you can see it. 50 watts, so you don't think I'm bullshitting. Okay. And of course, with this mod, particularly the uh, the Lassie Mode, Canadian company, um, there is a ton of DIY type features uh, on this too. But uh, I'm going to do another review about this in my next video. 
So, uh, yeah, let's take a couple more rips on this motherfucker. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. You know, the flavor quality, that's what I want to talk about too. For a simple build such as this, um, the flavor quality is tits. I mean tits. Uh, can't beat it. I mean, you know, uh, it's awesome. Airflow's great. The build's great. This is great. Again, it's the uh, Horizon Tech Vertex Plus RTA. Um, unbelievable, um, great job, Horizon Tech. If you watch my video, uh, you know, full stainless steel, three, uh, 304 stainless steel, you know. Also, it's top fill, I, I forgot to mention that. So we'll come up top here. Hopefully I don't twist the whole tank off. That's the other thing too. It's like very, a lot of moving pieces. That's the other con uh, about this that I don't like. Um, so, top fill. Boom, top fill, top fill, top fill. Big, big, big top fill hole ports, which is amazing. Um, like I said, that chimney stack is ridiculous. It's big, just as big as the, the, the drip tip port. When you see this thing in person, let me tell you, it's something like you've never seen before. I mean, you know, if you don't want to get your hands sticky, dirty from, uh, you know, juice, this is, this, is, this is your tank. Because like I told you before in the beginning of the video, I hate RDAs hate them I hate I hate everything about it I love building coils but I hate that the shit gets all over your hands um you know I have to carry a roll of paper towels with me you know so I hated it this came along I saw it I was like I gotta have it I gotta review it I gotta check it out this is gonna be my first review so also this was the little retaining ring that I was mentioning that goes over the uh, the cotton it's real basic Simple engineering, but yeah, I mean, this thing rips. <laughs> Unreal. Anyway, so yeah, that's the uh, Horizon Tech Vertec Plus. Uh, the pros for me, um, I don't get, uh, my hands don't get messy. Uh, top fill, um, on a scale of 1 to 10 for beginner usability. Uh, I give it a, a nine for you know being the best you know for you know a, a novice user, somebody that wants to get into the game of building coils. This is the uh, Primo tank. Um, great, you know engineering around it. Um, completely stainless steel all the way through. No plastic parts except the uh, top of the drip tip, which is fine with me. Keeps your lips from uh, burning off. Um, Cons about it that I, that I don't like. <clears throat> I wish that they would have made this top fill port um, a few less threads, maybe, or like an open door, like on this baby beast, which you know, you know, it, it's real simple, uh, open close type um, format. Uh, so that's what I wish this had. Um, you know, of course, there's probably some engineering feats that you know. If you bump it, it might bend because it's gigantic. You have to have to, you have to see this thing. It's a monstrosity. Um, I don't like the, the idea that the, 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 when you adjust the holes, the airport, the, the juice ports within it in the wicking section, that the whole thing moves and it makes you feel, it makes me feel kind of unsafe. You know, like, can I lay it down? Can I, you know, what happens if I bump into something? Will it fall apart? That's where I'm at with that. They're the only bad things I have to say about it. Um, other than that, guys, girls, this thing is where it's at. Um, this is a revolution. It's revolutionary. Revolutionary, if I'm saying that the correct way. I love it. It's great. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Also, I want to uh, say big thanks to Atomic Wire for uh, sending this to me. Um, also, uh, Villas Vapor. Um, the guys down there hooked me up with the juice uh, and some Canthal wire. Uh, have some extra stuff that I got outside of the atomic um, and just regular you know the cotton and all that stuff uh, that's where I purchased this was Bill's Vapor uh, they uh, you know hooked me up and uh, I want to thank Mike down there if you guys have any questions or anything like that that I couldn't possibly answer check out Mike at Bill's Vapor.com um, 
for all your juice lines. Uh, he carries a full organic line of uh, juice. Uh, you know, no uh, PG. If uh, you're a full max VG kind of guy, or gal, that's where it's at. Also, before I close my video out, I also fix and repair um, any any mods that are that are out there on the market. I'm actually doing right here. Let me pop away from this. Let me close out this transition. Let me go back. Give me one second, guys, and I will take out this portion of my video. Hold on a minute here. Let me take this out of the way. We'll remove that. Yes, I do want to remove that. All right. Transition that. One second. Sorry. Technical difficulties. All right. So um, basically what I'm doing here is I have a couple of these uh, Smoke Plus, the, the M80 Pluses, a couple of empty ones. Um, so what I'm doing with these is I'm pulling out the original uh, batteries that are inside of these. And uh, I'm replacing them with two uh, 18650s. Uh, particularly, you know, obviously, you know, a uh, good high milliamp draw uh, per hour type of, type of a battery. Two of those go in there, two 18650s. Uh, I did like four or five of these already for, for a couple of people. They love it. Um, they want me to keep doing more of them. So I have some of these. Also, you know, the 80s. And you know, I fix everything. You know, if you have a stick mod that's busted, like a lot of these, they have busted ports on the bottom. I fix them all. You know, it doesn't make a difference who it is. You know, Evic, Kanger Tech, you know, Joy Tech, I do and fix everything. Kanger Tech, Clouper, Smock, whoever else, uh, Lassimo. So uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything like that, hey, Angelo, I need my. You know, vape fixed, or I need my mod fixed, or can you build me a mod? I build mods too, um, to your specifications. Um, you can either drop me a line, uh, email me at djuhf1 at gmail, or shoot me uh, a message at the bottom of my uh, video here, and then I'll be happy to get back to you and uh, help you out. Of course, I'm located on the East Coast, so uh, if you're in the East Coast, I, you know, like I said, I'll be more than happy to help you. So uh, I want to say and close out my video. This is the I was reviewing the uh, Vertex or the Horizon Tech Vertex Plus RTA. Unbelievable. Um, the price bulletin is prime. Uh, Atomic Wire, thanks for coming through. Those Vapor for, 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 for providing me with the juice and the cotton bacon. I don't have any more left. And uh, my good friends over at UD who sent me this nifty little tool. Thank you so much. And uh, that concludes my video, guys, gals. Um, so uh, uh, we'll uh, pop over here for one more second, and we'll add another to where you guys can see this thing in action before I let you go. So give me one second here, and then I will capture the rest of this. And you guys can see how badass this motherfucker is, because it's bad as shit. Bad as shit. So... We'll bring this one in full live technicolor. There's the transition. So yeah, here it is. That's amazing. I mean, great vapor. I mean, you can't beat it. Uh, you know. So we'll rip on it once more. Like I said, that's 50 watts. <laughs> we'll bring this up close to where you guys can get a real good look at it. Boom. Really good vape production. Flavor's still there. I mean, it's outstanding. So yeah, that concludes my video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned to my channel for more um, more vape reviews. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of fixing, fixing of different things, you know, different mods, building mods. Um, I fix everything, also uh, laptops, computers, you name it. Um, anything you plug, the, you can plug into the wall. I fix. So uh, don't be shy. Drop me a line. Uh, my name is Angelo Rowe. 
Um, and, uh, you know, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Till next time.